internet. Internet is one of the most prominent innovation happened in 20th century. Internet has changed the way we access information. On a single click of a button, you can access any information globally on your laptops or, or your smartphones. But you remember how was internet 20 years ago? I still remember when I was a kid, internet was, we were using internet through a dial-up connection. Do you remember this sound? It was a sound when we were connecting to internet through a dial-up connection. And it used to take a couple of minutes to connect to internet. But it was satisfactory. It is still connected to the internet. It might take another couple of minutes to connect to the internet. And finally, we are connected to the internet. So this was the way we accessed internet uh, when I was a kid in school. But now, internet has evolved a lot. From a dial-up connection, we moved to broadband. And from broadband, we moved to Wi-Fi's. Wi-Fi's have changed the way we access internet now. It gave us mobility. We can move around and can access the same speed internet that we can use it through broadband. You remember, uh, imagine a situation where you have to plug your ethernet cable to your laptop and move around and need to access internet. It might be difficult, right? So Wi-Fi is very prominent. Right now, the Wi-Fi is catering 50% of internet traffic data. And this number is going to increase because we are moving to Internet of Things now. So in the upcoming future, each of our device is going to get connected to Internet. Be it your security camera in your home, streaming a live uh, data to your smartphone, or a sensor in a farm, which can send information of soil and water, or be it your vehicles connecting to each other, sending traffic information when you are driving on a road. Everything is going to get connected on Internet. We call it Internet of Everything. To realize this dream, to bring Internet of Everything in place in future, can Wi-Fi handle that task? That is a big question. Probably not, because Wi-Fi is facing certain problems. There are issues which we need to solve in the Wi-Fi domain. If you look at the overall picture, Wi-Fi uses radio frequencies to transmit wireless data. And the current issue with the Wi-Fi is we had a limited spectrum available with us. So, and this spectrum is getting filled up now because the number of wireless devices has exponentially increased in the past couple of years. Be it your smartphones or uh, your laptops or different kind of sensors, everybody is using either Wi-Fi or radio frequencies. And the spectrum is getting filled up. That's the biggest challenge. Another issue is uh, licensing a new spectrum is a huge task. Throughout the globe, it's very difficult to license a new wireless spectrum. There are a lot of security concerns regarding that, so it's not an uh, easy task. And the biggest challenge is the bandwidth. So we have a limited bandwidth available with the Wi-Fi's. So if you wanted to transmit a 4K uh, video through a Wi-Fi network, you can't do that. That's the biggest challenge. So what if we wanted to move it to a 4K uh, kind of uh, videos, but you want to transmit it through Wi-Fi, you can't do that. So in that case, we need an alternate way of communication. There's another issue with the Wi-Fi, which is security. Security is one of the biggest concern with the radio frequencies because if you're sitting inside this room, your data can go beyond this room. The Wi-Fi signal can inherently crosses the walls. So if a, if a person who wanted to enter into your system can sit beside this room and can hack it easily, that's one of the biggest problems with the Wi-Fi. That's why it's not prominent to use in defense or, uh, or in a scenarios where security is one of the biggest concern. Apart from that, Wi-Fi has certain regulations and the limitation within certain industries. For example, inside an aircraft, you can't use Wi-Fi. Or uh, one of the thing, in the healthcare, again, there are certain issues. So in, inside the hospitals, inside the ICUs, you can't use that. Underwater communication, you can't do it with the Wi-Fi. That's few of the challenges with the current technology. Now what next? We already have Wi-Fi, we are using radio frequencies. What we can bring to solve this problem? So, Look around us, uh, we already have so many light sources always on uh, in our areas. So what if I use the same light source to transmit data instead of using a Wi-Fi signal? So the same light source which gives you illumination can give you data transmission. That's what uh, the technology is. It is known as Li-Fi. So uh, I'll present you Li-Fi. 
uh, I'll explain what LIFI is. LIFI is basically quite similar to Wi-Fi. Uh, the, uh, the only difference is we use the visible part of the light spectrum to send data instead of radio frequencies. It is quite similar. Uh, we ha it has two parts specifically. One is a transmitter end, another is a receiver end. So if you look at this transmitter, transmitter is our LED lamps. So basically, LIFI works with the LEDs. So within these LED lamps, they has the property that we can switch them very quickly. So what we do is, all our data is one and zeros, basically. So the computer understands one and zeros. So what we do, we bring data to the light source and convert the whole data into one and zeros. And then I blink the light bulb, basically. So we blink the light source with a pretty fast rate. So it's a LED which is blinking one and zeros, one and zeros continuously and sending information to the users. On the receiver end, we have a photo detector which can understand those light patterns and convert that data one and zeros back into the complete data. So basically, a receiver and a transmitter, a very simple scenario, and you can access internet or any kind of wireless uh, information through LIFI based system. Now, LIFI also has surges. So we'll see what LIFI brings on the table. One is, if we compare the LIFI with the current wireless system, we can go up to 10 times faster than the average broadband speed in the world right now. In the future, we can go up to 224 gigabits per second. That is a theoretical limit currently we have with the LIFI. So imagine the scenario when you wanted to download a movie and you just click it and it's downloaded. Not, it won't even take a second to download it. That kind of speed we can achieve with the light-based communication system. The another advantage is it's highly secure. So in the areas where we need the security, LIFI is very uh, helpful. For example, the light is not going to go away from this room. If it is there inside this room, your data always remains inside this room. So if somebody wants to hack into your system, they have to physically present in the same scenario. That's the advantage with the LIFI based system. So it, it is basically an extra added security to the whole system. And LIFI works where Wi-Fi is prohibited. So if you talk about an aircraft, it can be utilized. You can send any information inside an aircraft using Li-Fi. And it is the future of 5G and 6G network. But Li-Fi also has certain uh, challenges to solve. Wi-Fi has certain advantages, and Li-Fi also has certain advantages. So if we combine both the technologies, we create a better solution. So in the future, Li-Fi is going to complement the wireless technology that we have it today. So it will coexist together and create a better internet infrastructure. Now I'll talk about different opportunities, what we can do exactly with the LIFI based solution. The first thing came into our mind is the connectivity. So it's all about internet these days. We need a better internet infrastructure. So in a generic scenario, we can provide a better internet infrastructure if we compare it to Wi-Fi using a LIFI based solution. So if you are sitting in a room, if you are sitting in a conference hall, or in your labs, or in your classrooms, you can access internet everywhere with each of these light uh, bulbs that you have in your uh, place. So uh, the second thing is uh, internet of everything. Since these new sensors are coming up, the smart home solutions are coming up, everything is going to get connected to the internet. So in that case, we need a communication medium which can bring data from these devices to the internet. And that could be the light. That's the biggest opportunity area where we can utilize the light-based solution to send data to the internet. Then we talk about the telecom sector. Telecom sector is facing a lot of challenges in bringing up or creating a better internet infrastructure. We still don't have a very good 4G internet in our country. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, efforts and energy from the telecom side to set up the 4G internet infrastructure. Because the back creating a backbone within a country like us is very difficult. It's time consuming and you have to spend a lot of money on that. So we can simplify that process. We can make things uh, you know, uh, wireless. So currently to create a backbone of the internet infrastructure, telecom companies has to run optical cables either uh, under the streets or uh, on the poles. So it creates a lot of infrastructure issues. But we currently already have the lightweight 
uh, infrastructure within our cities. We can utilize that. Think of a scenario where uh, we have uh, street lamps around the whole city, and they are connected to each other wirelessly through light, and providing you the high-speed internet access. That we can do it for telecom. And then uh, I already talked about aviation industry. Aviation is one of the verticals where we uh, LIFA brings a lot more value. Uh, for example, inside a cabin of an aircraft, you can stream media content. You can watch movies, videos, everything through light. So it can replace a lot of cables from an aircraft. It's very secure, so it can be utilized inside the cockpit, and the whole communication inside the cockpit can be done through Li-Fi. Uh, Another opportunity is intelligent transportation system. So if we talk about our current uh, transportation system, there is no intelligence in it. In the future, our vehicles are going to get connected to each other. They are going to pass information about their speed, uh, braking, or traffic as well. So all the cars will be sending information to the next car. The second car will send it to the next one, and so on. So everything will be connected to each other. And there we can play a big role. We can utilize the light from the cars and can send data, or maybe the street lamps. Another opportunity is within indoor navigation. Uh, we talked about smart uh, retail stores where you can go around and can figure out a stuff. If you go to a big store, it's always difficult to figure out where is uh, the thing, where it is kept. So in that case, we can utilize the light inside the retail store to understand where the things. It can, we can create a local map inside a retail store using a Li-Fi based solution. That could be another opportunity area. And then uh, the smart cities. Within the smart cities, uh, we, we definitely can create a better internet infrastructure. It can replace, in future, the optical cable communication. Currently, we use optical cables to create any kind of uh, internet infrastructure within the cities. It can be made totally wireless using a Li-Fi based scenarios. That's one of the another advantage of the technology. So uh, these are the different kind of opportunity area where this technology can play an important role. And it can be one of the uh, prominent uh, technologies of wireless communication in upcoming future. Before uh, finishing it up, uh, I would like to give you a glimpse of the technology. I brought certain demos with me. And I would like to uh, show you how we can stream data through Li-Fi. So uh, uh, can we uh, turn off these your setup here? I would like to explain you first what it is exactly. Uh, we have a light source here. This is a lamp, basically. It's connected to one of our local server, which is there inside this table. So that local server can store any kind of information. So you can put your media content on it or anything on it. Uh, and that server will send data to this light source. So currently, you can see a constant light coming out of this lamp. Technically, it's not a constant light. This light is blinking with a very fast rate, which our eyes can't see it. And this is sending information, streaming information continuously to this receiver. So I have a receiver here, which is a photo detector, which can understand these light blinking patterns and converts those blinking patterns into a data, which can be useful and which we can see it on a laptop. So it's connected to the laptop here. I, I'll, I need a couple of minutes to uh, show it to you. So if you look at uh, the screen right now, the whole system, this light source is actually streaming a high definition video content to the receiver, which our receiver can receive and can convert the light signal into the video signal and sending it to the laptop. So this is uh, a high definition video content streamed through a light source. Thank you so much.